about you? I've been to Walmart, and guess what I got? A new PlayStation 6, and it was $943. Oh, shit. channel if you're new and you're not subscribed get subscribed push that button it's free it helps us out and we do appreciate you this is only half of the package I just got a notification that another box was delivered to my address unfortunately I am NOT at my address at the time to get the box um, so maybe I'll make another video to show you guys what the rest of it is but I wanted to show you guys what the government bought me. So, you know, pressing that helps us out big time. More people will see it. Okay. Oh, all right, I know what this is. We don't need that no more. Let's, uh, let's turn these phones down. That's for my new, um, my new device. But anyway, we are updating my garage and stuff and I want it to be a smart garage in a, uh, a smart house so we're going with Alexa and we're going with motion detection and pool panels and stuff a bunch of Wi-Fi stuff well anyway I gotta have my Wi-Fi super strong so I bought a, a network switch a Wi-Fi um, extender and then I bought a cell phone signal booster um, I have no idea what's in this box, but we're going to find out. Oh, yeah. This came in. Check this out. So this. Over there. This one here. So, also, the new tripod that this is using, uh, I got that in the mail as well. But anyway, this is another handheld tripod. But the cool thing about this thing is it has a built-in battery. So that way I don't have to carry around a separate battery unit while my, my GoPro or my camera is on the tripod. It makes life a lot easier. And this was only about 25 bucks or so. It's, um, it's the X-Pod. Um, maybe I'll do a review on it. So yeah. There's that, and then this uh, this is the Alexa holder. We went with a third generation Alexa. So this one's kind of heavy. Let's we'll see what's in this one. Watching, if you're new to the channel, you know we could always use a good subscriber like yourselves. So make sure you hit that subscribe button because it's free. It don't cost you anything, and it helps us out big time, right? Yeah, absolutely. I would do it for you. If you had a YouTube channel, I'd press it for you. So, here's the inside of this. And I guess that's just my newer. Let's set that up there. I don't know what that is. Oh, okay, so. Okay, so this is new fittings for a upcoming build. They are water compression fittings for hard tubing. Um, I'm going ahead and starting to buy uh, parts slowly by surely because the build that I want to do is going to cost about $2,500. So I have to do it over time. I just can't drop all that money at once. So I went ahead and ordered the first set of 12 uh, fittings. I'll need 24. This right here was about 30, 40 bucks for this. So fittings, excellent. Moving on, this is the Echo Dot. This is the new Amazon Echo Dot. We're going to have three of these. Um, the alarm security system that we bought actually comes with an Echo Dot. So there'll be one in the garage, one in our kitchen, and one in our bedroom. So that way, if we want to ask it to turn on the TV or the lights, we can. We can ask it to turn on the cameras or the alarm, um, tell it to activate the motion sensors, deactivate the motion sensors. Uh, I'm gonna have one in the garage 
because I want the garage to have Wi-Fi and hardline, and I want it to be a smart garage. So we went with the Alexa third gen. If you if you qualify for it, you got a um, a check from the government because of the coronavirus. Um, I spent four hundred and sixty dollars on all the stuff, and I still have you know four hundred something dollars left of my money, which I'm just going to save. Uh, this is my solar motion light. Um, basically, I wanted to add some motion detection to the light. Like I said, I was going to increase the security around my house. So I bought these motion lights. They're kind of like small parking lights, like what you'll see out in the parking lot. But they have a solar panel on one side and then a motion detection on this side. So it would basically sit like this up underneath your eave of your house or your garage so and then when it detected you it would turn on so uh, these were about 12 or 13 dollars a piece i'll make sure to leave a link in the description for all this stuff so that way you guys can find these things too but yeah motion detections and i got two of these uh, this is the other one just pull that out and then Oh yes, so this is Cat 8 cable. Uh, we need this for the garage. So we got one of those. Actually, there should be a couple of them in here. Uh, this is our, up, our TP link. This is our five port uh, network switch that I'm going to be using. It's just a, a standard plug and play uh, network switch I couldn't think of the word there for a second but yeah we're going to use this to uh, help run internet to the garage Whoop. to the garage um, these are acrylic shelves I love these I actually mount these on the wall and then this is what my router and modem will sit on uh, they're just standard black acrylic shelves uh, Let's see if I can open it for you. See, just standard black shelving made out of black acrylic. They got a hole in them to pass wires through. Uh, they're kind of expensive. It's 20 bucks for two of them. It does come with double-sided adhesive, which is very strong. I was actually quite impressed with the strength of this stuff. And then it comes with some ties, uh, double-sided sticky ties for you to do some cable management. Okay, and then, oh, here we go. Here's the other bag of fittings. This is the other 12. So I'll put that with our other bag of fittings. Okay, looks like that's the end of this box. Let's, let's see what's in it. These are my new sandbags for the studio. Uh, we have tripods and C stands, and they need counterweights to keep them from tilting. So I bought a four pack, and this was a four pack of sandbags for like 16 bucks. So. And then it's actually a really nice bag, you see? It looks like that. You fill it with sand, rocks, lead, whatever. And it's pretty good construction, made out of a nylon, very tough. It has a 550 paracord braiding in it, so it's super strong stitching. And you can't beat the deal. And they also have it in different color combinations. You can get yellow, red, black, whatever. But. Uh, I needed four of them, so I got four of them. Okay, I am not sure what this stuff is.
What is this stuff? 30 classic kitchen towels. I didn't order that. These are cotton pure handkerchiefs, 12 piece. I didn't order that either, so I'm gonna have to get a hold of Amazon and see what this stuff is because I didn't order this. Hmm. Maybe my wife did. Did you order this and not tell me? Maybe this was the charge that just mysteriously appeared. Hmm. Okay, well, I don't know. Brings me on to my next item that I use to buy with the government check, and that is my new phone. This is the LG Stylo 5. It comes with a stylus pen, which is pretty cool. I like it. It has a 6.2 inch screen, which it's way bigger than my other phone. Look, look at my other. I mean, compared to my other phone, it's way bigger way bigger and it's smarter too uh, newer and smarter the release date of this phone is august 19th it has a 6.2 inch screen 32 gigs of storage 3 gigs of ram it does have a stylus pen i mentioned that it's cdma and gsm so it can be used for both carriers it's made of gorilla glass so it has that tough gorilla glass in it Whoops, I'm pressing buttons, hold on. My bad, it has Gorilla Glass in it. The front camera is five megapixels and the rear camera is 13 megapixels. Um, it is a full HD screen with LG full vision. It's a 1080p by 2160 megapixels. It does run on Android 9 Pi. Yeah, Android 9 Pi. Yeah, that's what it's currently running on. Um, it weighs it weighs 179 grams or 6.3 ounces. Um, it does have a little heft to it. It does, but that's okay. You can't take the battery out of the phone. Although the battery is a 3,500 milliamp runtime. So that's, that's pretty good, 3,500 milliamp. That's significantly better than the 2,600 milliamp or the 1,500 milliamp battery that was in the old phones of back in the days. It does have an octa-core CPU in it. That's eight cores. That's insane. It's a nice phone, glass backing and everything. So uh, this cost me about 300 bucks to get from Cricut Wireless. And I like it, plus the case and everything. So you can't go wrong with this. This LG Silo 5. Thank you, Uncle Sam. Take a look, a little bit more of like an in-depth look at some of the stuff that I bought. For instance, this is the Photo Pro X-Pod. This is that like tripod thing I told you guys about that comes with a light or a power source built into it. Let's open it. Whoa, what is this stuff? What is this? Is that a light? Looks like a light. Okay. It comes with this, this goofy cable, USB to micro. All right. And then a bag. Oh, nice. Two bags. Wow, two bags. Uh, that looks like another charging cord. Wow. And then here's the unit itself. Uh, there's the battery bank right there. The output input has a little voltmeter. Hold your camera. Check that out. It comes with a cap too. That's cool. So that cap unscrews, right? right. Like that. Exposes that. Look, even has a leveling needle on it. That's cool. What about this? Oh, that's nice. Yeah, it's made out of aluminum. I guess that's for your phone or whatever else you want it to be for. And then it looks like it has like a standard mounting for like a GoPro. That's cool. 
Wow. Now this thing. I wonder if this is a light. I bet it is a light. Where's the thing at? Let's see here. How does this work? Uh, it goes in that way. Yes. No. Nothing. Huh. Oh yeah, it is a light. I plugged it into this, see that? It's a light. That is too cool, it comes with a light. Excellent. Awesome, I love this little thing. Wow. Blue. It was funny because you can buy a used one for 25 bucks, or you can buy a new one for 29. So, the extra $4 gave me a brand new one. And I went with the black and the blue. So, this is the one that's going to be in the garage. It looks great. Awesome. Good deal on that. And what else is in here? Echo Dot. Oh, there's the charge cable and charging cord kind of all in one so that's cool and then the cool part is is that I bought this thing and it supposedly holds put that square power brick there and you wrap your cord around there and then you just put the the, the device in here somehow without destroying it there you go of course you remove the plastic but I don't want to remove it right this second but yeah that's how it would sit made of metal. I figured it'd be I figured it'd be made of plastic, but no, it's metal. Sweet. It's just a little five port switch, plug and play. Ooh, it's what you expected it, right? Yep. What's in here? Little feet and power that's it all right well i think that's everything to show you guys I mean, other than these water fittings that uh freeze mod sent me for their for the project i have coming up and let's see if i can get it unscrewed but yeah double o-rings o-ring there both aluminum these are great fittings. I currently have them in my one building. You can see right there it says freeze mod. Um, but I bought 24 of these because you need a lot of them, especially when you start incorporating dual pumps and radiators and stuff. So yeah, but that's basically everything I got, guys. Make sure to leave me a like. <clears throat> Thank you for watching. And when the other stuff comes, the, the security camera, the Wi-Fi signal booster, the cell phone signal booster, when all that stuff comes, I will also be reviewing that or doing a video of it. And then I might even do individual videos on some of that stuff. But I just wanted to show you guys. Um, this isn't quite what $500 looks like. This is a 30 foot, I think I reviewed this already, this is a 30 foot um, Cat 8 cable, yeah Cat 8 cable.
High speed. Sweet. Alright, I'm out of here. Thanks for watching, y'all. Subscribe. Leave a like.